Now, with your kind permission, I would like to take you to a lecture hall at Gut Stuffing University, where Dr. Lumberskull presents his observations on the taxi cab. <laughs> the origin of the word cab is not quite certain. We believe that it comes from an ancient Latin root, abke, meaning to go ahead, hence a cab, a thing for going ahead. Uh, can we remove the curtain, please? Uh, me? Yes, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as, as you'll notice, the cab proper, as seen in New York, is a, an outlandish vehicle that is unlike anything found in nature. Uh, two passengers ride side by side in the back, separated from the driver in front by a plexiglass window. Uh, at present, the taxi cabs in New York are of a bright yellow color and are very stylish. Now, Upon entering the taxi cab, you'll be brought in touch with a peculiar collection of people. Cab drivers. Uh, could, could we bring down the screen and the first bring up the first slide, please? Uh, yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> now, the cab driver is not noted in Darwin, and the Natural History Museums have forgotten them entirely. Uh, you will note that the cab driver dresses as though he is poor, and his manner would seem to indicate he does not get enough for his work. Now, if you approach within 40 feet of a cab driver, their true character will soon be revealed. Are you talking to me? <laughs> he says this even though at the time you might be looking up at an eclipse, or down for a lost trinket, or even in the opposite direction. Yep. Despite the cab driver's puzzling demeanor, in New York, these vehicle, strange vehicles are catching on and will soon be a regular thing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>